Today on The Joy of Editing, guess what? There's a new Topaz Photo AI update. This is version 2.0.4. We're going to get a look at it today. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully. It's time for that weekly Topaz Photo AI update. Let's take a look at this list and see what's been added for this new update. Now, you can pause the video and read through this. I won't read through the whole thing. I just want to hit some highlighted features that stand out to me for this new update. They redesigned the Preferences panel to be easier to navigate. I'll show that to you. They added a preference to have Autopilot never turn on any filters automatically. So if you're into doing it yourself, you don't want the aid of Autopilot, you're going to like this feature. Here's a good one, added preference to enable hot pixel removal for raw images. I'll show that to you. Autopilot now recommends the sharpened standard version 2 model. So I guess they're getting this really honed in where they're really thinking it's doing a great job. And I think it's doing a great job. I'll show you today. And the last thing I want to point out, they added a new export setting to allow uploading images to improve Topaz Photo AI. The setting is opt-in by default and applies on a per batch basis. So you can shut that off if you don't want them to have any of your images. And I'm sure some of you do not want them getting your images. If they do get your images, they're not gonna share them with anyone and it'll help them improve their product. So I have mine turned on and I'll show that to you. But the nice thing is they do give you choice. Now, if I come here, I've already run autopilot on this image. This is a raw file, by the way, we're gonna get a look at it. But if I come here and click on save image, you're going to notice right down here, you see where it says improve Topaz Photo AI. Allow these images to be uploaded to help improve Topaz Photo AI. Uploaded images may be used for training AI models. They will never be shared with third parties. And you can, right now it's toggled off. And if you want to turn it on to help out Topaz, which will give you a better product in the end, I recommend doing it. Just click it on here. But that's totally up to you. If you don't feel good about it, leave it shut off and then click save. And then that'll upload those images to them and they can, you know, use those to train their AI models. I'm just going to click cancel for now. By the way, if you don't yet own Topaz Photo AI, you could go ahead and click on my affiliate link in the description below. When you do that, it'll take you over to the Topaz website where you can purchase it or try a free trial. You know, I believe it's like a 30 day free trial. And if you own Gigapixel, Denoise or Sharpen, they have a special price for you. You could click right here and you could see what that special price is. When you use my affiliate link, I make a small commission and this helps support my channel. And when you use that link, I really appreciate it and thank you. The first thing I wanna look at is the new redesigned preferences panel. So let's come up here to the menu, click on Topaz Photo AI. I'll click on preferences and you can see this is what it looks like now, it's different. Now on the left side here, we have under general, we have export brush and privacy and so on under autopilot, all these different categories. This is a lot cleaner and here's all your shortcuts, which is really very handy. And let's compare it to the old preferences panel. Here's a screenshot of the old preferences panel. Now you'll notice here under autopilot, Everything is all right out front. You can scroll down and see all the different settings, but the new panel really organizes things a lot better. Let's get a look at this new panel. Okay, so here's the new preferences panel. Now, I'm not gonna go over everything here, and I recommend that you go through everything here. Everything is organized and laid out for you. Now, you'll notice under general, and if I click right here, I can collapse this, but if I click right here on this arrow, I can open this up. And I believe these were all open by default. So under general, if I click on general, you're seeing right here. And then you're going to get a list of different things you can do right in here. Like, for instance, choose the AI processor. There's a drop down here. Auto, CPU, or your uh, graphics card, whatever you want. I have mine set on auto. You can choose to turn lens corrections on or off. You can show help prompts and so on and so forth. Again, I'm not getting into all this because you can read through this. But under export, if we click on export, and this was from the last update, you can use Adobe DNG SDK for export. This gives you a better 
result when running raw files, at least it is for me whenever you're processing a raw file. I'm getting much better color on my raw files, so I recommend that. But I like how we have general, autopilot, and shortcuts all broken down for us. It really makes it easy to go in here and tweak Photo AI just for your usage and the way you like to set it up. Now, under brush, if I click on brush, I can change the brush color overlay. If I click here, you know, I can choose a different color. Um, I could choose the amount of the opacity of the actual brush overlay. And then we have privacy here. Now you can see right here, it says can upload images by default. By default, the can upload images to improve Topaz Photo AI checkbox will not be checked. You can still check the checkbox on any export you can send to uploading to help us improve Topaz Photo AI. And I showed you that earlier. When you save your image out, you can toggle that on if you want to, you know, send that information off to Topaz that they can use for their AI models. And then we have here anonymous usage tracking is enabled. Now I have that on. You are helping us improve Topaz Photo AI by sending us anonymous usage metrics and crash reports. And you can shut that off if you don't want. So you got all this choice here. And now under autopilot, and I showed you this already, you can enable or disable automatically applying filters. So that's kind of nice. I have mine enabled. And then of course you have subject detection. You could set it up for how you like to set the subject detection up for the sharpening here. I have mine set to none right now. Upscale and resize. Okay, remove noise. And this is under the category of non-raw file. And then we have all these different things that we could set up here. And then something new here in Remove Noise Raw. This is the Enable Hot Pixel Correction. And I'll show you, that is really nice. So if you have hot pixels, you can set this on so it'll remove hot pixels. And then, of course, we have Sharpen. And we can have the different settings here. And, of course, Face Detection. But everything is neatly organized here. Adjust Lighting. You can set the... Default adjustment strength, it's set at 25 by default by Topaz, but you can change that higher or lower, whatever you want as far as balance color. You may not want to keep a full opacity value of 100%. You may want to pull that back. So you have all these choices. I love this product because they give you so much here. And then under shortcuts, you know, we have general shortcuts here under just shortcuts. And then we have file shortcuts. Everything's broken down very neatly very organized masking as well as cropping so that's cool and then just after you change things click save when you're done i really enjoy how neat and organized the preferences now are let me know what you think in the comments section below we're almost done but i just wanted to point out a few changes here as i said this is a raw file and i ran autopilot on it and if i come up here and hover you can see it says image loaded and lens corrected detecting subject skipped that's because I have my subject set for none. Detected zero faces, detected medium noise and high blur, calculated auto-suggested values for the parameters within each filter. So that's cool. And let me just open up the sharpen module by clicking right here. Now you'll notice they are preferring the standard version two now, so that's new. And that standard version two is awesome, but look how great of a job this has done. Here's my before. Now I'm zoomed into 100% and here is my after. Look how sharp that is. Let me go ahead and zoom into 200% so you can really see this, okay? So here's the before and here is the after, but it's done a fantastic job with the sharpening. I'm really impressed by that. Oh, and by the way, let me go back to 100% because there was a hot pixel like right up in here. Let me go back up here to preferences and under remove noise raw. So let me click on that and you can see enable hot pixel correction is on. I'll shut that off and click save because I want you to see there is a hot pixel. Can you see it right up here? See right where my little hand is right there. That's a hot pixel. And if I go ahead and come back here to preferences and go back to remove noise raw and toggle that back on and click save, you'll notice that that hot pixel, as soon as it's done updating, which it is now, that hot pixel is gone. So it's great that we can remove hot pixels because I get them from time to time on my Canon 5D Mark II. And so that is a great improvement. So thank you for that, Topaz. 
Well, there it is, everyone. That's the new update for Topaz Photo AI version 2.0.4. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon and click all to receive all notifications. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing!